What's going on everyone and welcome back. Patrick here and moving on to the next video dealing with limits at infinity. We got this limit to solve here. Limit as x approaches negative infinity of the fifth root of 5x to the 3 plus 4x to the 10 all over the third root of 5x to the 6 minus 3x squared. So we're going to be using the exact same methods that I've been using in the previous video. And if you've been watching all of the previous videos up until this point, I'd recommend you try this by yourself before watching this. I would pause the video, try the limit yourself, and then watch the rest of it and compare your answer and your process to how I do it and to how you do it. See if you're actually getting this stuff. So we got the limit as x approaches negative infinity of this fifth root expression and notice that there are multiple expressions under it. So we got 5x to the 3 plus 4x to the 10. So the first thing we got to do like we did in previous examples is rewrite this. So we're multiplying two expressions. So we got the fifth root uh, 5x to the 3 plus 4x to the 10. So what's the first step? We would factor out the highest uh, x to the highest power, which in this case is 10, between 10 and 3. So factor out x to the 10, what would we be left with? Well, we would divide this by x to the 10, divide this by x to the 10. So 3x is up top, 10x is at the bottom, meaning that we are left with 7x's at the bottom. These cancel out, so we just be left with 4 here. So now we got this multiplied by this, and we can split that up with that fifth root. So we'd have the fifth root of x to the 10 times the fifth root of 5 over x to the 7 plus 4. Now, this x to the 10, the fifth root of that, that's the same as x to the 10 to the power of 1 over 5. And then 10 times 1 over 5 gives us so the fifth root of x to the 10 is the exact same as x to the power of 2. And then we got this fifth root of 5 over x to the 7 plus 4. So if we go back to our main limit over here, this expression for the numerator, we convert it to this right here. So we can rewrite that as x squared times the fifth root of 5 over x to the 7 plus 4. So this and this are the exact same thing. And now what we want to do is apply the exact same process to convert this expression in the denominator. So we got the third root of 5x to the 6 minus 3x squared. What can we factor out? Well, we would factor out x to the highest exponent, which is 6 in this case. So we'd have the third root of x to the 6. So what would we be left with? We'd be left with 5 minus 3 over x to the 4. These cancel out. x to the 2 over x to the 6. We're left with x to the 4 in the uh, denominator there. And then we could split these up. that. And then x to the 6 to the power of 1 over 3, that's the same as the third root of x to the 6, which gives us x squared. So this here is the same as x squared. And then we got the third root of 5 minus 3 over x to the 4. So this expression in the uh, denominator converted it to that. So we have x squared over the third root of 5 minus 3 over x to the 4. And notice what's unique about this limit here is that these x squareds cancel out. Because we're multiplying stuff, there's no other expression that is like added here. Like if there was like an x here, then we wouldn't just be able to cancel these out. We would have to divide everything by x squared, x to the highest power in the denominator. So this would get divided by x squared, this would get divided by x squared, this would get divided by x squared, et cetera, et cetera. But <clears throat> because we just have this 
two expressions multiply, two expressions multiply, the x squareds, they actually cancel out. And so what we're left with is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the fifth root of 5 over x to the 7 plus 4 all over the third root of 5 minus 3 over x to the 4, like that. So, um, notice now that we can plug in this negative infinity. Remember, a constant over x to the power of r, where r is a rational number, the limit as x approaches negative infinity or positive infinity of something in that format is always going to be zero. So notice how this is going to go to zero, and then this is going to go to zero. And so we'll be left with the fifth root of 4, because we'll have 0 plus 4, over the third root of 5. Okay, and it's not, I should make these maybe smaller, it's not 3 times root 5, it's the third root of 5. And it's not 5 times root 4, it's the fifth root of 4. And that is the final answer. So not the prettiest answer because of these uh, fifth root and third roots, but nevertheless, that's what this limit would go to. So just be on the lookout for these. Sometimes you'll have x squared cancel out or x to the power of something cancel out here, especially if you only have one term in the numerator and uh, denominator. This can also be written as 4 to the power of 1 over 5 over 5 to the power of 1 over 3. This and this are the exact same.